Hey everybody, I'm Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and this is our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 470. This is a full length technique based class, totally commercial free, and we are bringing you something that has been around for ages and ages. Only we're we're bringing it up to the to 2022 and beyond. And when I say we, I mean spellbinders. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, them. <laughs> I get to just I get to show it to you and play with it and 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 say, ooh. <laughs> so I have a brand new program from Spellbinders. It's called Sealed. And it is wax seals. And you're like, wax seals? <laughs> I think my grandma, my great grandma, my great 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 grandma used to do wax seals. Oh, but she didn't do them like this. Let me tell you. Yes, we're going to be able to use them in their traditional, the way that, that, that most people think of them as wax seals. But then, then we're going to take them into 2022 and put a totally modern, current, exciting viewpoint on them. I. I think that you're just going to absolutely love what we have for you. I've got dyes, I've got, I mean, there's just a ton of goodness sitting in front of me ready to play. But before we get there, let's do a few updates. Now, if you placed an order during our 2022 warehouse sale, our first day of the sale was April 22nd. And you're like, yeah, but it's October. I know, there's a YouTube for that. <laughs> If you placed your order on April 22nd, all pay later invoices have been sent. So if you placed your order on the first day and you have not paid for your order, you need to do that before we cancel your order. We are, we are almost at the end of day one. I mean, really, we're just, we're ticking it down. So if you have a day one pay later invoice, and you go on your account and you see that it still says awaiting payment. You, we've sent you the invoices a couple times. We just need you to pay for them or you can call into the store. Day two peeps. The first batch of day two. So that would be April 23rd. Those invoices are going out too. Not the entire day, but half the day is going out. So if you are an April 23rd order, and you don't want to wait for that invoice because you're worried you might miss it, again, give us a call at the shop. We would be happy to take payment over the phone. And if you want to use your, your PayPal account or any debit or credit card, because the email that's sent to you on behalf of us from PayPal gives you a link and you can use any credit card or debit card that you would like or your PayPal account. Those, those invoices are being sent out now. So if you're a day, 20, a day two, an April 23rd peep, Keep an eye on your emails, okay? All right, so yay, we're getting there. We're counting it down. And we've been down a shipper for the entire week. So um, <laughs> the shipping racks are a little backed up, but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna get there. <laughs> now I have, I have winner, winner chicken dinner to talk about. I don't know if any of you have seen that we are currently I'm sure not forever, but currently the exclusive retailer for the Sizzix Sorbet switch machine at a smoking hot price. So you can find that online. And, um, and hey, these two lucky ladies who are our winner winner chicken dinners from YouTube number 469, you have a $25 gift card to spend on the uh, most amazing new program from Spellbinders, absolutely. Or you could pick up a switch machine. Although you may, I don't know. One of you may already have it. <laughs> I say you take your $25 and pick up some of this wonderful product of Spellbinders. Because it's not often that a, a manufacturer brings out a, a whole new collection concept. Um, they bring collections out all the time. They release monthly things all the time. But this is... This is something so new and so exciting and so reimagined. What wax seals are, but what they could be too. And 
when you see how Spellbinders has opened the doors, opened the windows, opened your imagination to what this product can do, I think these two lovely ladies are going to have a hard time not spending their $25 on this. <laughs> All right, so our first winner winner chicken dinner for today is Colette. Colette Espino. Hello, Colette. How are you doing? <laughs> are you jumping up and down saying, oh my gosh, I'm a winner winner chicken dinner? Are you? Are you? <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> our second winner winner is Kathleen. Kathleen Suckus. Hello, Kathleen Suckus. Is that you? Congratulations to you as well. You also are a winner winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Are you rewinding the the, the video and watching it again? Kathleen Suckus, you're a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> now, you, Kathleen, and Colette don't have to do anything to claim your prize. The $25 is already in your online account. And, um, well, just waiting for you. I'll tell you, if, if there's nothing else, you have to have this die. And you're like, what is that? Wait till you see what this does. Holy smokes, artichokes. If nothing else, buy this die. <laughs> All right, Colette and Kathleen, are you ready to do our winner, winner, chicken dinner dance? Okay. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, catch you for you. Congratulations to the both of you. I'm so very excited for you. Enjoy your winnings, and I hope you find something that just makes your heart happy. That's what it's all about. That's what crafting is all about. It's not about perfection. It's it's not about um, about making something that is you know that looks like it's store bought. It's about exploring your creativity and then giving it to somebody who you love and watching their eyes open in wonder at what you did for them. It really is a moment that is so unbelievable when somebody else realizes you made this for them. Doesn't matter what the, what, whether your paper is on straight or not, it just doesn't matter the amazement and the wonder and the appreciation in their eyes for what you have made. There's very little that tops that. <laughs> All right. So today, today I have got a new program called Sealed from Spellbinders. We are going to start off super, super simple. We're going to start off using the, 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 the wax seals kind of like they were intended to. I'm going to show you the easiest way to use them and then we are going to step out of even Spellbinder's box. I kept texting Nicole, tell me, what's the craziest thing you guys have done with these? What have you done with them? And she's like, well, we, we use them as wax seals. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? No, no, no. What did your girls do? Tell me how they played with them. Give me some, you know, give me some feedback on how they used them. Well, we, we mixed some colors. No! <laughs> Tell me the wackiest thing they tried. She's like, I got nothing. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully not only do I show you the intend, intended use behind these, but then maybe a way that you hadn't thought of before. And I want to make something Really, um, I, I want to let you know that even if you are not a wax seal person, there is one, well, there's two skews, two skews here that I think you should have. <laughs> there just is two skews. Even if you look at all of this and say, well, I'm going to tag along just because it's a Saturday with Stacy YouTube class and I'm just going to play and watch and have fun, but not for me. I still think there's two skews that you need to own. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to tilt on down. We're going to get started for today. I have got an awful lot to show and an awful lot to share. So best to get started, right? Right. Okay. Down we go. Bye everybody. <laughs> I'm like, what, what crazy things have you done with these? How far did you push them? I think I, I think 
chances are I'm going to push them a little further than what they had intended. But it wouldn't be a Saturday with Stacy class if I didn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me scoot this over. So to begin with, I am definitely working on a Sizzix silicone mat. I have my craft mat underneath and you can use this craft mat. I just want to let you know that the wax does not come off as easy. You kind of have to pry it up maybe with like a little spatula or something. On the Sizzix silicone craft mat, which I think if you've ordered it, I think most of you have it by now. This is the craft mat that I put the brads through so I could put on my layering stencils that have the holes in the top. I'm gonna to use this today, and yes, it'll be on a YouTube Yummies. I'm gonna use this today for the wax sealed program. Now, oh, you know what, I have to go back up, sorry. Thought I was done, I wasn't. Ooh, too much, Stacy. hello, too much. Hello, back, 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 yes, better. <laughs> I'm my own camera person. So, full disclosure, Spellbinders has made a starter kit that comes with a spoon. I'm going to be using a spoon that sits on a little, a little platform that you put the spoon on top of. And then there's a, a tea light that goes underneath it and you light the tea light and the tea light is going to melt your wax. And this is the most traditional way of doing this without question. They have an, a starter kit that has all of those pieces, the little platform, the spoon, everything that you're going to need, a little silicone pad. We are not selling that. <laughs> you're like, wait, you just said you're doing their new seals program. I know we're doing it with everything but that, that kit. And reason being is that the tea light the tea light kind of threw me off a little bit and um, and I know lots of you have uh, maybe you work in a senior center or you're going to church and you want to do this at church maybe with a mops group and the tea light just kind of threw me off a little bit so I wanted to find a way to do this that didn't require the tea light and and that's how we're going to be using this program. Now, if you want to be a traditionalist, <laughs> absolutely, you go and um, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not 100% sure when Spellbinders is going to be releasing that platform. It's, it's like a wooden, and it, you put the tea light underneath and there's a place for the spoon at the top and the heat from the tea light eventually heats the wax and the spoon. So I don't know when they're going to have it for sale on their site, but I do know that they have it. We are going to work kind of around that. I did it a different way. It doesn't mean that their way is better or my way is better. It's just a different way to get the same effect and I felt more comfortable like, like this. So I wanted to give you that as a heads up, full disclaimer, full disclosure, if, if you want to do it the way Spellbinders had envisioned it, which is the traditional way of melting your wax with a tea light, with a candle light, absolutely. I will let you know that I also tried it with a candle, with a, with a scent warmer. You know how you get the scent warmers like at Walmart and you put your little cubes of smelly stuff in it my husband has a million of them and the heat from the light bulb or whatever it is melts the wax it will not work trust me i tried like four different warmers to get this done does not work so so i think the way that i am doing it is probably the easiest and fastest way but it doesn't mean that it's the only way you do what works best for you for me, I felt more comfortable not having an open flame going. I don't know. It could be something about a house burning down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a little post-traumatic stress, maybe. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I lost my house to a fire. So, <laughs> open flames, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I can go back down and talk to you again. I just wanted to give you the, the full the full round scope of this program so that you are ha able to make an informed decision about how you want to make your wax seals. Okay.
down we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Little fire. <laughs> I'm sure it had something to do with it, but I'm much more comfortable doing it this way. And hopefully you are too. And if not, then you'll get the, the traditional little setup kit from Spellbinders. Okay, so we're gonna start with a, with a, oh, let me show you some samples. Ooh, see, told you wax rings are not just for sealing envelopes anymore. Look at how beautiful is that. Oh yeah, the dies are gonna be on sale too, without question. Isn't that pretty? And then, ooh, look at this. Yeah, the dies are gonna be on sale. Look at the wax ring. And remember the die I showed you earlier? Hmm. And then my last one. Remember the die I just showed you? Hmm. So a few samples for you to ponder over. Okay, let's get started. So the program encompasses a few things. One, it encompasses a spoon, and this is what's going to hold your wax. We have beads wax beads in about a I don't know there's like 12 or 15 maybe different colors and metallics versus just solids and I mean just a whole host of different different colors to play with and then we have the actual seals that are attached to a wooden handle and they just screw right on now in the for, for now right now the seals that you buy are going to come with the wooden the wooden handle so every seal you buy will come with a wooden handle in the future i'm thinking that they're just going to manufacture the seals because you will have ample wooden handles to play with today Today I'm going to be playing with at least, I'm going to have at least two wooden handles going on because I want an opportunity to have one sitting and be doing another one and I'll probably have two spoons going on. Absolutely, I'm thinking that's the case. So where did this one come from? This one goes right back right there. So it's a pretty simple program and, and oodles of different seals for you to choose from. I want to say two, four, six, eight, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 12, 14, 15, maybe, maybe 15 different seals for you to choose from if you, if you like them. And we have our own little starter kit, which is going to give you the spoon. It's going to give you four different seals. It's going to give you, ooh, <laughs> you need that and some beads to get started with. So I'm gonna put these there, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the tea light candle. So I have the tea light candle here, and I'm gonna be using everything except for the candle. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the candle right out and put it away. Don't need the candle right now. I want these little tins. Why would I want these little tins? Well when they brought out when i when i saw their little starter kit for this and the the um spoon kind of hangs on the side it, it rocks just a little bit if you hit it it just kind of rocks and that's the same here see how it rocks so the little the little starter kit that they have doesn't have like a little groove for where your where your neck of your spoon could sit in keeping it from rocking. And even on my table, it can rock. So I thought, how are we going to make that happen? How are we gonna stop it from rocking, but not take up something you know, in space that's so inexpensive? I mean, what do you get? You can go to the dollar store and get tea light candles. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if we just went like, snip, snip. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I don't rock anymore. 
and it didn't cost me anything. <laughs> yeah, that makes my heart happy. That means that when I'm adding my when I'm adding my beads and I'm melting them, I don't have to hold it. And if I do sit it there and I it accidentally tips, I don't have to worry about, see, it's gonna, it can happen, but not when you put it in <laughs> your little tea light holder. So yeah, tea lights are great and you can absolutely use this for something else at a later time. But I wanted my little tea light holder just as an inexpensive way to, to hold this. Now you can keep this for as long as you want and eventually you're gonna have to get a new one. That's okay, you bought them at the dollar store and you got 30 of them for a buck. And um, so I wanna start there. Then I wanna talk to you a little bit about the waxes. So let's start with some waxes. There's, gosh, I don't even know how many are in a, in a oh, 100 wax beads, there we go. 100 wax beads. It takes approximately four beads to make a seal. Well, I tried to do it nicely, but that's not gonna happen. It takes approximately four beads to make a seal. <clears throat> well, so much for my, <laughs> so much for my bag. So inside you've got 100 different beads and you plop one, two, three, four of them in there. And four beads is what makes a seal. A seal this size, the size of the Spellbinders seals. Now I chose to not use a tea light to heat it. I chose to use a heat gun. So this is my Sizzix heat tool. And it does have two speeds. And depending on which one you're more comfortable with, I'm going to heat the beads. I'm not going to heat them from below like a candle. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to put it in my little, my little <laughs> unit there that just keeps everything all nice and easy peasy mac and cheesy. I wonder if I can go down just a little more. There we go. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. And I can melt them. Now, if you're more comfortable going with the slower speed, it's going to take a little bit longer to melt. If you're more comfortable going with the higher speed, they're going to melt much quicker. And you can see them starting, ooh. Let's see if I can get it in, can zoom. You can see them starting to melt. See if I put something behind. So you can see them starting to melt. And then let's continue. And now they're really starting to melt. And then, and because I've taken the heat away, I need to continue to heat. And you don't want to overheat. Once they look melty, you're good to go. And you pour it right down on your craft mat. And it pours out like a, gosh, it's a, it's a beautiful, thick, luxurious, let's see, what's this one? Okay, well, we'll do this one. Then I'm going to take my wax ring, or my wax seal, and I'm just going to drop it. I'm not gonna press at all. So my wax seal is down there and I'm just gonna drop it. I'm not taking and putting any pressure at all on my 
my handle. I didn't press in. I literally just dropped it. So now I've got this over here. And I guess I can maybe move right here. And let's open up another color. I'm not going to change my, I'm not going to clean that out. I could, and I would clean it out while it's warm. Well, I suppose I could, just so you see. I would clean it out with a paper towel, not a baby wipe, a wet wipe, because that's going to conduct heat. So I just want to heat it up. Kind of get it a little warm. And then I can just clean it out. Now I've been using mine. You can see it's dark on the bottom. Put it back in. Now this one may be done. Pull up. And because I'm on a silicone mat, it pulls right on off. Now you got to know that they're not going to be perfect every time. So I'm going to sit this one over to the side and I'm going to do one in blue. So four beads, one, two, three, four. I've got my wax seal ready to go. Heat it up. starts to melt. If you're using a tea light, it is definitely going to take longer to melt. That looks good. Can I do it here? I think I can do it right there. Pour, pour, pour. It's like this beautiful pastel syrup. It's got the thickness of a lovely syrup or fudge. And then I'm going to take my seal and I'm literally just going to drop it right on. and I'm not going to add any pressure. I didn't push down at all. I'm going to let that do the work. Now I've got this one here and I've still got some blue in it. So let's go back to the pink. I'm not going to clean that blue out. I'm just going to add four pink to it. One, two, three, four, and we're going to go. You don't want to overheat. Once you see that they've melted and they've made a beautiful consistency of a lovely syrup. Then you're ready to pour. And let's pour. So now I've got a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink together. And I can drop my seal right on there. And don't push. Now this one, this one's all done. And I'm going to put it over there for just a minute. And I'm going to come back. And I'm still not going to clean this up. No, no, no. Um, let's try, let's change a seal. This one was thanks that I just did. I like the thanks. Hmm. Handmade. Well, let's go ahead. I can always change it back. So this one is a cute little envelope that I'm putting on. 
<clears throat> and this time I'm going to take another pink and maybe one pink and let's try some white. So can you blend the colors? Absolutely, you can blend the colors. Do you have to clean out your, your bowl every time? No, you don't. Your little spoon. No, you don't have to clean it out every time. Let's throw a green in there, or a tilly blue. And let's heat. And it's going to start to melt. And it's going to make that lovely syrupy consistency. Nobody wants runny syrup, heavens no. I'm going to pour. And I'm going to drop. No pressure at all. It's almost like, do you ever, have you ever gone bowling and you've, you've pulled your arm back and you're just ready to release the ball and you just let it go. You just, you're not pushing it. The force is in when you dropped it, when you, when you pulled your arm back and now you're coming forward and you're letting that ball go as you're bowling. You're not, you're not throwing the ball. Same here. The, it's in just letting it drop and then letting the weight of the, the uh, wax seal here, the die, I don't know what they're called, what you call this, the, the, the stamp, the wax seal stamp, letting the weight of the, the handle and the stamp itself push into that wax, creating that contact and getting that image. So there we go. Let me see what I'm doing. You're like, but I can't see what they say. I know, we have to make a few. <laughs> so um, maybe I change things up a little bit and how about handmade? This is the happy birthday. And how about I change things up a little bit with some color? So what if I threw in a little bit of the wax beads in the fuchsia? And the fuchsia, the colors I've been using are matte colors, so no iridescence to them at all. The fuchsia's got a little bit of iridescence to it. And I'm just gonna put in one, two, three, four. I didn't clean, oh, this one's done. So I didn't clean out. So now you can see the blends. Ooh, right? So let's do a little bit of the fuchsia and see what we get. Now I've got my little, my little tea light here. Oop. And yeah, I've got a little wax on the bottom. That's okay. Just take it right off. It might stick to your little tea light bottom here, but I'm good. And let's heat these up. I've got four of them in there, but I've still got the blue and the pink and the white that I was using. So if you're used to doing embossing with a heat tool, this is gonna be easy peasy for you. Okay, so I've got it all melty, beautiful consistency. Let's do one over here. Just 
just let it melt on out. And handmade, and I'm going to drop on down. And I'm just going to let it sit. And then I think I'll take a few more of those. I'm still not going to clean. A few more of those. And maybe we get adventurous with our wax seals. And we throw in a little black with that fuchsia. How about two black? And which one do I want it? I want it. I think I'm going to do the thanks again. So I've got my my seal stamp, my wax seal stamp. That's what they're calling it. I've got two fuchsia, two black, and a some white are still in there. Some of my Kind of light blue is still in there. Is that going to, there we go, is still in there. I don't care. We're going to go for it. Can you clean out in between every time? You can, but gosh, this is just so much easier. Everybody who has played with this has said it's been the most relaxing thing they've done. Honorary SMS girl, Patty loved it. James, James sat there and made wax seals forever. Okay, looks like I've got a nice little, my nice little kind of syrupy blend. Gonna dump. And then let's throw it on down and just drop. No extra pressure. Peel it right off my right off my silicone mat. Now, if I was using a my craft mat, I would have to kind of get underneath it with maybe the back of my tweezers or something to get underneath it to help it pop. But on the silicone, they just pop. So I'm gonna let that one finish. And then we're going to start to color them. Let's put handmade, what do I want? Mm -hmm handmade back. So I want to color these, but how to color these? It's a very, because it's a wax product, it has to be something that isn't going to just wipe right off. And a dye-based product is going to wipe right off, a dye-based ink. No opportunity to fix it. It's It'll just come and wipe off. So I need to use something that is a permanent ink or kind of a paint. So for these, we decided to go with our Marvy Yoshida paint markers. Now you guys may already have these. We've had these for as long as we've been crafting. And these are paint markers. We use them a lot to edge paper. They are a true metallic and it is a paint that needs to be, you have to shake it to make it work. Let's see if this one's done. Oh, it looks pretty good. See if I can get it up if it's dry enough. The yep, look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna use, let me back up just a little bit. I'm gonna use the paint markers because they seem to work the best in adding the detail that you want. So depending on how you want to do them, I've got a paint marker and I need to give it a shake and let's grab a piece of paper just so you can see what they look like. Yeah, I guess I can use this one. 
let's use this one. This will be a little easier for you to see it. Oh, I think I've even got a black sheet under here. So, you got to kind of prime it to get it going. And then you've got a true metallic ink that comes out. Silver. Two different size nibs. I've got a chisel and a two millimeter. But lots of people use these to edge paper. And it really is metallic. So we have silver. We have copper. And we have rose gold. which really is a rose gold. And then I don't have a gold big one out here. I don't know why. But that's okay. And all you have to do is press on the nib, not too hard, you want to press on the nib and that gets the paint flowing and you always want to give a good shake because it is a true paint pin yes it has a slight odor to it absolutely but you're gonna get true metallic it's beautiful so now all I have to do is go in with these and depending on what color I want I can either go straight on top And it's almost like you're using an embossing folder. You know when we ink up an embossing folder, we just want to put enough to highlight what we're doing. And now I can start seeing my word thanks. And I might even put a little bit on the outside. And then all of a sudden, you're creating your wax seal. And they're easy and they're pretty. Um, what if we took the silver on this thanks? So now you can see the design starting to pop. You can see that design starting to come up because I'm using the paint pin to highlight it, just like if we were using an embossing folder. When we take ink over the top, we've embossed our paper, and then we run ink over the top to bring that embossing up. Maybe I just add a little bit around the edge. And I can start bringing my seal up. They're very simple to do. And this is how I'm using them, how they were intended to be used. Let's take maybe some rose gold and or some copper and let's do let's do this one and see what we get. So this is the the envelope.
And same here. Up to me if I want to add a little bit around the edges just to distress it up a little bit because, you know, wax seals kind of are a little um, formal or, or vintage, I guess, would be more the word. So up to you. But then I can take it. And I've got my envelope. What you couldn't see before, you can see now, just by adding a little bit of that paint. How about happy birthday? Just a little bit of that paint. A little bit of that rose. And let's just vintage this one way out. And I'm just going to color a ton of it. Almost so the white wax almost disappears. And again, it's entirely up to me what I want to do with it. Which one was this? Well, this was the handmade. How about we try that one with silver? Yeah, I'm just going to go gently over it, just hitting the tops. And if you feel you're too heavy handed, can I go back a little bit? Yep. If you feel you're too heavy handed, then you can always just put your, let's do this one in the rose gold. You can always put it right onto your craft mat. There we go. And use your finger. and go over it with your finger. Okay, now we've made some basic wax rings. Kind of the way they were intended to be used. You'll know that no two are going to be the same, no matter what you do, no matter how. In fact, I wanna add some more. I think I'm gonna add some rose gold to this one. Just needs a little something something. No matter how hard you try to make two of them exactly the same, unless you are using only one color, and that color, is, you're just using it again and again and again, even then the rings on the outside won't be exactly the same. Look at how pretty that is. So once they get painted, because that's essentially what you're using, a metallic paint, then you are good to use them anytime you want. Totally up to you when you want to use them. You can make a bunch of these and just set them in a baggie because they don't break. They're pretty hardy. They really are very, very hardy. Get a wet wipey for my finger. So they're pretty hardy. They don't just snap in half. So you can easily put them in a plastic baggie, make a whole bunch of them, and then when you're ready to use them, you use them. Now what about this? This is on my, let's see if I can get that in my, 
that's on my mat, right? So all I have to do is wait for that to dry and it comes right off. And that's gonna come off on either the silicone mat or your standard craft mat. You just gotta wait for it to dry and then it'll come right off. I just scrape it off with my fingernail and done. So this is the way they typically use ooh, their seals program. <laughs> and I still have this. What if we do just one more like this and then we will move on. Let me put that over there because I still have that in there. I'm going to do just one more and this time maybe I'll add one black. You get to play mad scientist. <laughs> you get to decide what colors you want to use, how much of a color you want to use. How about I use one gold, two gold, one gold. And I like the fuchsia. Let's use the fuchsia. And maybe two fuchsias? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we get. And what seal do I want it to be? Um, happy birthday. So these are the ones that I'm using that come in the starter kit that we've put together. We've given you several that I thought would be very easy to use that you would use most often. So this is thanks and happy birthday. And let's heat. So I've got my little my little spoon by Spellbinders. I've made my own little cup to hold it. That way it does not rock. I don't want it to rock at all. Just accidents happen. But the minute you put it in there, you stop that accident from happening. And it's cheap. It's, it's, it's <laughs> you get 30 for a buck at the dollar store, I think. I'm gonna heat, move it back just a little bit. And they're going to start to melt. I don't have to hold this at all. I don't have to touch that. I've got a beautiful syrupy consistency and I'm going to pour it on out. And I think that gold is going to get lost in that black. Okay. And I take and I drop. So, Spellbinders, wanting to take this to the next level, came out with several dyes that are going to work with it. This dye is unique. It's even if you never do a wax seal, you are going to want this dye. But then they brought in beautiful florals. Tons of them. I've only got, I'm only showing you a few here that will make beautiful accents. This, this, this set here is what was used to make that card there. Those are the dies to make all the leaves and the squigglies pretty, right? So this is an unusual die and I'm going to show you how to use it. I want to start here. Let's let this one get done. This is a wafer die. I'm gonna use it on my Sizzix Big Shot machine. 
You can use it on your Platinum, your Platinum 6, your Big Shot, your Big Kick, your Vagabond, your Vagabond 2, um, your Gemini. What machine do you have? Because, and if you have the extended platforms for your Sidekick, oh yes. In fact, looking at these, if you have the extended um, platforms for a Sidekick machine, well, you're going to be able to use almost all of these dies on a Sidekick machine. Now that is a Wahoo Kachu. You think we're about done? And up. And so that's where I've got, look at the blends. The blends are beautiful. And let's take a silver and let's go over it with the silver because the silver will really highlight it well. A little bit of a push, make sure I've got some going on. And Happy birthday. Now you're saying, why would I do all of this work <laughs> for a little wax seal? Well, first off, it's not a lot of work at all. Second, it sets the tone for what you're doing. If you're using this as a traditional seal, I'm going to use my finger. If you're using this as a traditional seal for your envelope, there we go, my finger's a little better, then it sets the tone for what's inside the envelope. It starts the, it starts the gift giving before you've even given them their, their birthday card. They turn it over and they know, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I can get a little bit more. Gosh, I hope I'm not out of silver. Oh, I might be out of silver. There we go. So pretty. Look at the blends. Right? So it sets the tone for what's inside. It just gives them a, a little, a little inkling of what what you've done for them. It it's the presentation. It's the before, and then they get inside and they have that beautiful card to go with. So this is gonna scratch right off. That's the ink that I was using. It's dry. I'm just gonna take it right off. And then here. You know, it's like when you give somebody a beautiful gift bag. It's the before. <laughs> or you've made a beautiful, um, you've decorated the front of an envelope. They, they, the present, the gift, the, the art has already started before they even open it up. So before we continue on, I want to talk a little bit about the dies. And I guess I'm going to tilt back for this because I'm going to need to use my die cutting machine. So this is an unusual die. Love this die. But what does it do? Well, it makes it makes a die cut that looks like you've wrapped string around your entire card. You know how we take twine and we'll wrap it around and then tape everything down? This does it for you. And you can choose to use the little dot here, which was meant to go where your wax. Uh, your wax seal goes. So let me cut and let's cut something pretty. Um, how about we cut, how about we cut this? So this is Sizzix opulent paper. And I'm going to cut a piece out. And I'm going to bring over my Big Shot machine. This is not a difficult die to cut. I've got my I've got my my base platform. Base platform. 
I've got my solo shim because I'm cutting a wafer die. I've got my paper, which is very, oh, well, I've got my clear or my cut plate. Sorry about that. I've got my cut plate. I've got my paper, which is very loud, very wahoo ka um, <laughs> a lot of holographic going on there. And my die, and then my do not cut plate right over the top. And I'm gonna send it on through. So I'm just gonna roll it on through. So do you have a switch machine? Well, this is gonna go through super easy. All of these dies are going to go with almost every major manufacturer's die cutting machines. And just like that, it's cut. But what did I get? That's what I've got. So let's come over here. Not exactly card size, but close. So I can take that. Now you can either take this and wrap this around the back and tape it there. And then I grab my seal. And now that holographic isn't quite as holographic as it was before, is it? Because you've cut it down to very little, but you still got that, that little twinkle of iridescence coming from it and the seal fits right on it. Or if you wanna go vertical, you just cut off, snip off your edges. Just snip off your edges. And now you can go into a vertical card. Now, you don't have to use this at all. You can get this all the way across, snip that off, and put something else on. The idea is it looks just like you've wrapped twine all the way around it, but you didn't. And then they've given you that little dot just to put your wax or your, yeah, your wax seal on. And the die is large enough to go vertical or horizontal. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool die. It's a pretty cool die, right? But it does something else too. Let's say, let's grab Let's grab this and let's cut. Do you think I can get two of them at the same time? Spellbinder's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can or not. All right, well, no, no, no guts, no glory, right? All we're gonna do is try. So what if I take my paper, fold it into two, put my die down on it so it would cut two. Drum roll. Everybody hold your breath. I have no idea. And I can only imagine that everybody at Spellbinders is like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on my machine. I'm asking it to cut through two pieces. Send it on through. And just because I'm asking it to cut through two pieces, I think I am gonna rotate if I can. Oh, nope, it came right on out. Well, I think I'm gonna line it up. I think if I send it back through, it will cut too. Let's see if I can line it up and get it out. Line perfectly and let's rotate. 
and let's send it back and see what I get. Yes, I double cut. Darn it. See, they're like, ha, 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 I told you. I'm not going to give up on that. We're going to try again. Maybe I won't rotate and I'll just send it right back. So base platform, cut plate, paper. This time I just layered the paper right on top of each other. Die. It'll take it at a slight angle. And let's send it on through and see what I get. And I'm gonna rotate forward. I'm gonna go forward and then I'm gonna go backwards. Or I could just grab my entire platform and go just like that. And now I've rotated it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. <laughs> Look at that. Yay for me. Yay for spellbinders. So now I've got two of them. And you're like, yeah, okay, you got two. Yay for you. I said that, didn't I? Yay for me. <laughs> This is where the silicone gets me because I, I can't just go, whoosh, I have to pick every piece up so it actually stands a better chance of making it into the trash can. Now, I have the opportunity to make a card almost any size I want if I want to put that thanks in the middle. I just cut off my edges, cut off my edges. But I can make a really big card. Because these are going to extend I mean, you've got a lot of ways to extend them out, cut it off, or I could move one this way. I could push this one all the way to the edge and line it up there so it's slightly off center. I mean, you've got an opportunity to make a card almost any size you want using two of those dies. And I would just snip here and snip there and start there. Now that's a much bigger card than this. But when you have a die that lets you move things around, if I wanted it centered, find my center. I would snip off my ends and now I'm centered. I can rotate it. I mean, it can go on the, the vertical. And do the same thing. I can have it more towards one side, more up at the top if I want. Wherever you want it to look, like you've got twine wrapping around, you can do it. More there. And it's not just about the button. What if you put a flower here? 
What if you put an embellishment here? What if you put a die cut here? What if you, I mean, what if you put a sentiment here? Well, I mean, you, you, this is just helps you line it up and decide what you want to put. Or you cut off the whole little thing and just have the twine. This is a great die. Whether you love wax seals or not makes no difference. This is an amazing die. Love, love, love it. And out of the pretty paper, it's just gorgeous. And then you start embellishing off of that. Like, well here, they used, I think, gosh, maybe, I don't know which SMS girl did this one. They just used it. Look at that. Amazing, right? One die to do so much. So we also have beautiful florals that go with it. And the florals are meant to um, do what I showed you earlier or here. But I really wanted to do something, and this is a die, and I have that die for you. In fact, this is the card. I think this is James's. I think SMS guy James and Claire did this one together. But I wanted to do something more with their florals, and I wanted to incorporate the wax seals to do it. So I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna set these aside. And I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this one and this one. And I've got my rings up there. Now also a really nice um, additional item besides this let's say you're looking at me saying stacy i'm not a wax seal type of girl i don't want to do it i like the look of it but how often am i going to do it well they've done a stamp and die set that give you a very similar look i mean it's obviously paper you're going to stamp your seal onto paper and then you've got a couple dies to cut out to make it look like a seal but i'm going to tell you if you're going to invest in this you should invest in this too for no other reason than these dies right here. It's the only reason you should, I mean, it, 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 yes, it's easy. And if you have no time and you want something to look like you've put a wax seal on it, this is gonna be quick and simple. It gives you your outlines, your shadows. It gives you several seals to stamp in. It gives you the dies to cut them all out. But these dies, these dies are very, very useful with what I'm working on. Um, let's take this one. And you know what, I'm gonna bring this paper back. And I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna cut one of these. And I'm gonna cut one of these. And again, we're gonna see if I can get two all out at the same time. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna put them right over the top of each other. and die cut them out. And let's see what I get. It's a very simple shape. Very simple shape. <laughs> but when you use it in conjunction with everything else, it gives you a look and feel of a wax seal just by die cutting and stamping. So if you're not the purist, the traditionalist, the one who wants to kind of, you know, have that authentic, <laughs> look and feel and you just want them to be fun and easy this is a great set for you but if you are the purist i really agree with this set even for you because of those dies at the top oh no problem look at that What those dies do is gives you the opportunity to instead of it just sitting on there on the little button, it gives you a little added background element.
gives you that little perfect shadow that makes it pop just that much more. Or just that perfect little shadow that cements it. And you put that right on top of your little dot and it's just perfect. Or so if you have the die and stamp set you have the option of just die cutting and stamping your wax seals to get them fast and simple. You just want one done now and one done later. But if you have the whole, or if you're buying into the program, if you like wax seals, then I suggest you get that one too because it just completes the set. It just lets you put everything together and it adds that beautiful little background right behind it. So you'll have the option of either doing traditional seals or you can do them quicker if you need to. But I love this little die. It's just perfect, love it. All right, so I wanted to go a little bit further with these a little bit more than what they maybe were intended to do. And I had to think about it quite a bit before I figured out how I wanted to get it done. And I'm gonna bring the my little guy back. I've got some wax on the bottom of it. It's gonna stick to my little tray. I might have to get a new little, a little tray. It's okay, it's just a tea light. That's all it is, is a tea light that I cut into. Zoop, zoop, sound effects required. And it just made this cute little cup for me to hold. Perfect size, that way it doesn't wobble and roll. That was my big thing, I don't want it to wobble and roll. And it stops it. So, I wanted to take these, these wax seals and do a little more with them. And for that, it required me to think a little outside the box, which is why I kept I kept texting, Nicole, are you sure? What else have you done with them? Tell me what you guys have done with them. So if I have questions, I can ask you. And she's like, yeah, no, well, we did. We blended colors. I'm like, okay, I blended colors. Yay, love the blends. They're beautiful, yum. Um, and she's like, and we inked them. Okay, I inked them, yay, yum. But then what? And she's like, well, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stasify this then. And so that's what I did. I'm gonna pull together some colors and let's take, how about just the, let's do a couple gold and a couple black. A couple gold and a couple, oh, and I like this blue. Oh, let's try the blue. This deep, beautiful blue. Now there's a hundred beads in every pack. That means you're gonna be able to do 25 seals in every pack. Now I've still got my black and my pink in there. Yes, I know. I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to have one of these handy, but I'm not going to cut into it. You're like, what's she going to do? Well, let's play. So let's melt. Oh, I'm going to put it in here so I don't, I don't tip. Let's melt down a little bit more. And you'll see them starting to melt and blend a little bit. And you're looking for that beautiful syrupy consistency. Nobody likes thin syrup on your pancakes. No. Okay. 
Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna pour right over here. And now instead of taking a wax seal to put on top, I'm gonna drop this on top and give a little bit of a push. And I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. While we're doing that, I'm gonna do another one. gold have no idea what I'm gonna get but I'm gonna heat this one and while that's sitting there did it come up yet not yet let's grab another one just so I have two going heat And again, I'm just going to take the back. And yes, it's got little little divots in it and, and a design in it. And I'm just going to push it right on down and give just a little press. All right, let's pull this one up, see if I can get this one up. Hello, thank you very much. And, who did I make it too thin? Nope, we're good. Oh, now I've made a jumbo, right? Look at <laughs> This is the size of the seals when you use one of the one of the stamps. But look at what I made. I wanted a jumbo size seal. <laughs> Why did I want a jumbo size seal? Well, because I'm going to take it and I'm going to make it more. I'm not going to heat one of these up and push it down, although I absolutely could. I'm going to take, I'm going to take one of the dies. Now this is a beautiful die cut, beautiful leaf, looks amazing. I think that one's about ready. Well, that one looks good. And let's peel it off the back. You're like, but I can see those little, I can see the design that was in the bottom. I know, but don't worry. We're going to make those disappear. I'm going to take my die. And I'm going to bring over my heat tool. And I'm going to gloss this. Like, I'm going to add some heat to it to where it has just a little bit of a gloss to it because that's going to be remelting it and then I'm going to stick my die right on into it. What if, wait, 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 what if we took, what if we took, um, the gold and the black. And I'm still not going to clean this out. Let's do one more. And 
and let's heat it. And then let's pour. And this time maybe I don't pour exactly a circle. Maybe I pour more of an oval. Don't know what we're gonna get. It's all a surprise, none of them are the same. I drop this. Give a little press, not too much, just a little press. And then, got some silver here. While that one's drying, I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do it way over here. That way I have another one just in case. And I'm just gonna use four of my silver. Oh, yeah, four of my silver. in the right place. There we go. So the gold is blending in with the silver and the black. Remember there was some pink in here and some blue in here at one point. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this one way over here. Just, or maybe, yeah, way over here. Just so I can work on that one while this one's cooling. Remember, I had all those different colors going on. Let's just drop this one. Okay, and let's pull this one. So a little more of an ovaly shape, but I wanted a bigger seal. Pop it off. Ooh. Okay. Now, now I'm, is it going to zoom in? Now I'm going to heat this up and I'm just going to get a nice little glaze gloss on top. I don't want to heat it so it starts spreading again, but I want to heat it enough that I'm going to be able to take my leaf and put it in. And you'll see it go to a gloss. And I just want to take my leaf and drop it. And hopefully I didn't wait too long. Just drop it and let it sit. Just like it was a uh, seal. I'm just going to let it sit, sit like it was one of the stamps. And then over here, let's say I took this one. Ooh, right? Let's see if I do this one. Is this one done? Yep, done. I've just made a bigger, a bigger ring. What if I put this one in here? 
anything I can try? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to gloss it up. We're gonna go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Let's see what happens. I accidentally tapped it in there. And then let's pull this one. <gasps> Ooh! And now you take and... Oh, am I out of silver? Want to highlight it up. I'm out of silver. Let's try this one. Oh, got some in there. Right? All right, let's see what I did to this one. Oh, it's not so bad. See, I got it a little bit right there. I made a oops. So before I, before I add anything to this, I think I'm just going to remelt it. And you're like, what? Remelt it? Yeah, I'm just going to remelt it. Zoop. Zoop. Put it back in. So you can see my little my little tray is getting a little wonky, <laughs> but that's okay. Put those back in. Maybe throw one more just for good sake. Or maybe maybe I don't know if the Maybe throw one more just for good sake. Or do I do a different color? We'll see. I don't know if the color will come through or not because I have so much silver in there. But let's throw a blue in there just, just for good sake. And then let's remelt. You mean you can fix your mistakes? Yes! Oh, get you over there. Yes, yes, you can. I'm remelting. And I can re pour. And I can put my little lid, ooh, my little lid back on. And give just a little press. Little press. Right? Very cool. So while that one's going, let's do, let's do this one. We'll do this one in this color. Let's try this color. So I'm gonna take my little, my larger, 
wax seal and I'm going to gloss it. And then I'm going to drop my die right in it. So let's say you've made a beautiful card for somebody and you've used this die. Wouldn't it be nice to have the matching seal on the outside? I don't think I glossed enough. No, see, let me pull it up. See, I didn't gloss it. I heated plenty down below, but not enough up top. And I left some of it there. All right, no big deal. Let's let it dry. Put it right back on in. And we're going to heat again. This is a net zero waste product. If you don't like what you did or you make a mistake, let it go and do it again. Put one more in there just for good measure. Now my silver is mixing with my gold and it's mixing with my blue. And I'm making a beautiful pancake consistency. Pour it again. Put my little tin on top because I want a larger seal. Now what about this one? I wasn't crazy about this one. It would it didn't wasn't exactly didn't come out all the way that I wanted. I've already inked it. What am I going to do? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to put it right back in. You're like, oh, but wait, it's already got paint on it. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Cut it up. Put it right back in. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe add a blue. Ooh, what if I had that new blue? Wait a minute. Let's, I'm going to pull those out. What about this blue? A greeny, pearlescent yumminess, right? You have zero waste on this because if you don't like what you did, you just start over again. How often do you get to do that in crafting? Not too often. Usually once you tape something down, especially if you're using Stacy tape, it's down, baby. Oh, let's pull these up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get these. So here's my new one. Think it's ready? Oh. Just made a whole new one. Let's melt this. Let's drop it. Drop it like it's hot, because it is. <laughs> it is a little hot. Pour it out. Tell
telling you, everybody said it was the most relaxing thing that they've done. It was just soothing to sit there and do these. A little bit of a press. And in the meantime, I'm going to come back with this one and I'm going to reheat, or maybe I'll do this one. This one's beautiful. So I'm going to put a gloss on there and hopefully I get my, my ginkgo in there just perfectly. So I need to make sure I have enough heat to make, to get that gloss. Drop it. I still don't know if I've got it enough, but we're going to go for it. Don't touch. It's going to be hot. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm sure I've got it. Okay, let's let that sit there for a minute. Think we're good here? I'm still a little not quite done, but that's okay. We're going to be okay. No, I'm pulling it too early. Yep, see, still too hot. See it tearing? That's how you know you haven't let it cool enough. It's not just popping off. It should just pop off like the other ones. This one, not so much. So now I can decide to reheat this again. Up to me, I have options. I'm gonna put it aside. What I'm not gonna do is throw it away. That is for sure because all this is is a beautiful piece of wax that's ready to be melted again and used again. I'm gonna let that one continue to sit there. I'm gonna bring this one over. What do we wanna put in this one? Hmm. Well, maybe we do another leaf. Let's see if I can get a leaf in there. Oh yeah, that's good. That felt good. Kind of sunk right into it. Feels pretty good, yeah? Oh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, yay. Oh my gosh, yay, that's beautiful. Oh, that looks so good. I don't know what color I wanna put over it. I don't even know if I wanna put a color over it because that, that depth is so good. It is all about taking and using. They've given you, there are so many beautiful florals in this collection to decorate with. But what if you are doing, hmm, what, I wonder if I want to, hmm, do, 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 do. what if you are doing, do I want that one, that one? I think I'm going to try this one. What if you're doing a beautiful card and you're using you're using seals or you're using the dies and you want the seal on the back to match? How about we get into that beautiful how about we get into this pink? Ooh, look at this pink.
And I'm just going to put four in there, even though I've got a whole bunch of other colors going on. I'm just going for it. Think this one's about done? <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, I, I, I don't even know that I want to color it because it's so pretty. I'm going to put it here because I don't even know that I want to do that. And I've got this one here. I have to color one of them, I know, but they're just so easy to do and you can make them so much in advance and you just have them. So melt, melt, melt. Let all the colors combine. Nice consistency of syrup. I want to make a slightly bigger one because I want to use a die. Look at that. The silver's in the center. The pearlescent pink is on the outside. <gasps> Dreamy. Set it down. Just a little press. Just a little press. And then let's let it Let's let it set. And in the meantime, I'm going to take this one out. Ooh. So this whole program, this whole sealed program developed by Spellbinders was a way to give crafters another avenue to express themselves. Hmm. Well, it's either going to be this one or this one. I just don't know which one's going to fit, but one of them's going to fit. If you are into mixed media, if you are into junk journals, if <laughs> if you just love the idea of adding that extra little element, my gosh, you could do you can are, are you into jewelry? What do you do that you can then take all of this and incorporate it in? All of it from the 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 stamps to stepping outside the box and doing your own. And I still have this one. So I'm going to do this one while this one sets. I'm going to do this one and we'll just do a base. We'll go back to a simple, a simple. Okay, so they get, so there is, there are two blanks. And these blanks are meant to go with this die. And you're like, what does that die do? Yeah, it's, it's a die all right. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> I suppose I could try. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, how about some kind of, uh, this is opulent paper. And it is a, it is a, uh, a pearlescent finish. This die makes confetti. You're like, are you kidding me? It makes confetti. Yeah, it makes confetti. Um, let's use, let's use, let's use, I like the, I like the pinks because they're bright and I like the greens because they're bright. Uh, let's use maybe the pinks and some white so it has a little bit of iridescence to it. Let's use, oh, let's see, I'm putting them in the wrong place, Stacy. Oh, that one's done. Peel it off. Oh, I know it doesn't look like much now, but it will. Let me do this one while I'm, since I've started. So I'm going to use the blank. You get them 
and you just start playing. And, and and before you know it, you've got 20 seals made. Put them in a baggie for the next time you need one. That way they're ready to go. And what a nice what a nice way to finish something off. Before I melt, I'm gonna die cut this. This little guy, like I said, he makes confetti. I'm like, what do you need confetti for? Well, I need it for that blank seal, that blank seal stamp. Because this lets you take any paper. It's optimum if it's double sided. <laughs> and make confetti. I'm actually just gonna leave it on there. Do you see? You see my confetti? I'm almost afraid to sneeze. But there it all is. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on there. That way when I wanna come grab it to put it to dump it in, I've got it. Okay, so let's melt. Just the process of watching it liquefy into that syrupy consistency is just gratifying. It's just so satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna pour, so I'm just gonna do a regular seal now. I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna grab some of my little confettis and put them in. So you could do rainbow colors or gold metallics. And then I'm going to, probably have too much confetti, I'm going to drop. And remember, when you're doing it with the uh, wax seal stamps, you don't add any pressure. I just dropped and walked away. Which left me with this. And... I'm gonna wait for this one to be done, and then I'm gonna do this one with maybe that one. Or that one. That only gives me one flower. Okay, you think it's about done? Takes it a second. I didn't put any weight. I'm not pressing down on it. But this is just a plain, plain seal. And then I've dropped confetti in it. <laughs> I know it's, it's wild, right? But then you start going back and you start adding in your paper and your little seal and some flowers coming off the top of it and it just works. I, I can't explain why it works. It just does. They look amazing. Who would think that something like this put onto something like that Oh, add some sentiments and a flower. I need to put these down together. <laughs> add a sentiment. Maybe an embossed piece of paper behind or a patterned piece of paper behind. It does. It just works. It's the craziest thing ever. Go this way and this way. Oop. Can 
Can I get it in there? I'm going to take it that way longer. And then our top seal from our stamp set. And then this little guy and a happy birthday. It, it does, it just absolutely works. So that little die, this little die is for itty bitty teeny weeny confettis to work with your, they come in two sizes. This The flat one comes in two sizes, a small and a large. This is the large one. Really darling. Okay, so let's go back to this one because I want to put, I think I'm going to put this one in. So let's warm it up. No confettis. Gloss it up. Heat it enough so that, oops, I'm heating a lot. There we go. I need, oh, I bubbled it. a bubble in it and it popped and now I have a hole. What do you think the chances of me being able to add another wax bead is? I don't know either. Let's try. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm on a silicone mat so oh see now I'm really heating it. Yeah. No, overheating. See, now I'm getting bubbles everywhere. So I'm going to have to let that cool and then do it again. So let's just start from scratch. While that one cools off, I'm not throwing that away. Too many beads. Four of them is enough. What if I could have taken... Oh, yeah, I can take that bead right out. Put one of these away, put that one in. And while that one cools, let's try again. It just has this beautiful sheen to it. When you get the beads and you start melting them, they've got this amazing iridescence. So you've got several beads that are pearlized, metallic-y. You've got a couple that are just straight color. I think the white and the black and the pink and the light blue are just straight color. Then you've got other, then the rest of them are either metallic-y, iridescent-y. Little bit of a press, that's good. Put that back in. You think this is? Nope, this is not cooled. I really heat that. But you can see how it doesn't affect your silicone mat at all. But I'm not throwing this away. Oh no. It's getting there. It's starting to cool off. And I've got this one over here I can pop up. And I've got this one there I can pop up. And while I'm waiting for that one and that one, I might as well do this one. So the important thing is that you can't really go wrong. There's no, there's no mistake here. Let's see, can I go right there? I can. And I'm putting the old one in that it didn't work well. Try again. I had pulled it before it had completely um, solidified, like that one. I don't know, let's throw that dark blue one in there just so it has one more color. Because really, can you ever have too much color? I think that one's about done. Nope, still wet, it's still hot. I really heat, put some heat to that.
get into that creamy consistency. few little bubbles in there. Oh well, let's see what happens. Pour it here. Drop a bigger one on. Oh, this one's finally <laughs> almost <laughs> done. <laughs> Pull it all up and I'm not throwing it away because I'll reheat it later. And let's see what I've got on this one. This guy on off. Still, I'm going to try and put this one down on it. Let's go ahead and give it a gloss, and hopefully, I don't over gloss. Yeah, I popped a hole in it. But I'm going for it. No guts, no glory. And a little press. Okay. Yay. Got that one drying. Got this one here. Now what if I wanted to go back and just add a regular Let's add the thank you. Let's find the thing. Oh, what if I just wanted to add a regular seal to a bigger one? Can I do that? Sure, why not? So I've got a regular size wax seal stamp. Gonna heat a little bit. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Drop it in. This time I'm gonna give a little bit of a press. And let's see what we get. That one feels about done. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna let it sit for another second or two just to make sure it's cool so when I pull it. Yep, another second or two when I pull it. I've got this one over here. You just go. I think that one's about done. Pop that off. Gosh, I think I finally don't have any <laughs> little extras to do. Move it down. Let me get this one off, otherwise, I'm going to heat this one. And I don't know, can it zoom in? And there it is. So, I'm going to take a few of these and we're going to ink these. Let me get this one done. And then we're going to ink. Let's see if this one's done. Oh, yep, there it is. So now I've got the thanks and even a bigger seal. 
We'll ink that one too. Let's get this one in there. That's good. All right, so now I've got these to ink up. I almost don't want to, but I will. <laughs> They're so pretty just the way they are. Um, let's see if I can get some gold going. I think I'm more comfortable doing it with my fingers because I feel like I have a little more control. You'll have to play and decide whether you prefer to go over the top. So there's my thanks. And let's use maybe the copper. I think this one's done. What if I use copper on what if I use copper on this one? A little copper down. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, wax seals can be so much more than just for, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. If I come in and I do this one in the copper too, or the rose, maybe the rose gold. It's all about the options. It's all about what you want to do with them. Let's do this one in the copper. So I'm not even, I'm just going. Or the silver. Oh, but I don't know if I have any silver left. Ah! Silver was a right decision. Can it zoom? Is it struggling? <gasps> yes. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, artichokes.
And we started way back. Look at that one. That one can go on that one. And we've got handmade. And we've got the little mailbox. And we've got happy birthday. And we've got thanks. And I haven't finished the one down there. Oh my gosh. These are so much fun. And you just go and you just do. And if you decide you don't like what you've done, do it again. Oh, I pushed this one in there. Let's see if I, I don't know if I'm going to, well, you know. God loves a trier, and I'm going to do my best to get this one out. But I pushed it in there pretty good. But these are pretty malleable. Look at that. Oh, yee! <laughs> Wait. Now I'm going to do that one with the copper because it's just screaming copper to me. Probably, no. Cute little magnets for the refrigerator. Cute little charms on a bracelet. Yes, they're for wax seals, I know. But what more is there to be done? Especially when you can take those beautiful dyes. just make them look like rock stars. Oh, too much fun. Keep it simple, get adventurous. Start simple, get adventurous. You do you, but you may start here. And you may end up here. <laughs> I love this one. Right? I mean, and, and I'm not throwing this away. This is the icky one that I pulled too early. And I've got some over here that I can pull up. It's really up to you at some point when you want to get them, you know, throw them away. And then I've got my, I've got my little spoon here. That now that I'm done, I'm gonna let, oh, I'm gonna eventually let this go. I'll put my dies back where my dies belong. See, no fuss, no muss, mom. Look at, see? The wax is not stuck in there. No, no, no. I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna grab a paper towel, heat this up. It's going to be warm, so use a paper towel, not a baby wipe. And bam, I'm back to being ready to go again. And I could start with one color and just keep going. And then I've got this. If I need to get this off, look at that. Let's see if I can tilt on down. It just... Kind of scrape it off. And then you can come in. If you really want to, you can come in with some, um, some alcohol.
and just kind of wipe your whole mat down. And all those little bits and pieces are going to come right off. The wax is going to come off. The extra um, ink is going to come off. You just got to give it a good wipe down. All of this is going to come off. So this is a, this is a, 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 a craft, a, a, an embellishment to your envelopes. You make cards with them. You junk journal with them. You do add it for your layouts, your travel journals. I mean, they're just perfect. And again, you can start just with your envelopes, absolutely. Just with your envelopes and then start to branch out and see see what more you can do with the tools that you have i guess that to me is the most important thing now i've got a lot here to show you but i want to also talk to you a little bit about how to adhere everything down because this is a non-porous type of product taking stacy tape and putting stacy tape down and then trying to stick it down, it's very hard to get the liner off because the whole thing wants to peel. This is very non-porousy. The best way we have found to take, put all of these down is on with, with some, some glue dots. These are my large glue dots. They're in red. That's how you know they're the biggest size. This will adhere to the back of your wax seals and it will adhere to all of your papers. So glue dots are probably your best way to get them down for sure. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so that's an important thing to know. The best way to adhere is with your glue dots. Okay, um, what do we have to show and what do we have? Also, let's say you were doing an envelope. Do I have an envelope? No, but, but let's say that you were doing an envelope. I'm making you an envelope. <laughs> All right, look at that. Let's say you have an envelope and you want a wax seal directly to the envelope. You're going to pour you're actually going to seal directly onto the envelope. It is so darned important, so darned important that you know, if you don't have an all over pattern, this one says, happy birthday. Happy birthday. You don't wanna accidentally wax seal your happy birthday upside down. You wanna make sure that if you're going to be going directly to something where there's no going back, you'd have to get a whole nother envelope. You want to make a mark that tells you where's your top. So up here, right here, I know that my happy is right there. So if I seal directly onto an envelope, I want to be sure that I mark where it is I'm going. Okay, really important. You don't want your happy birthday to be upside down, do you? I mean, that would not be that would not be ideal. So if I took this and I took four of these Ooh, we haven't used the copper color yet. I have now opened up almost every color of bead that they make. <laughs> Nicole, I hope you didn't want these back. <laughs> so if I take four beads, bring over my little tin, heat them up super fast.
Get it to a nice, thick, syrupy consistency, creamy. That looks pretty good. Okay, wish me luck, because this isn't my, this is not a true envelope. <laughs> I'm going to pour. Pull it up. Remind myself that my front is there. I've marked it with red. Drop. Don't add too much pressure. And they're never going to come out the same. And they're never going to be 100% perfect. I think that's what the SMS girls struggled with at first, is they wanted that perfect round, almost like a, mac uh, was it a, a macron. You know how macrons have little feet? That's what they call them, little feet at the edge of the cookies. You're, you're never going to have the perfectly centered exactly the same little edge around your seals it's not supposed to be that way this is just this is a, a, a clever and um, throwback to time gone by where people took the time to you know to write letters and seal their letters and now we've just we've just reimagined it for to 2022 and beyond. I mean, we've totally reimagined it. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to live with it. But at the very least, <laughs> it's in the right direction. <laughs> now, what if, what if that really did bother me? What if Nicole's going, oh, stop. <laughs> like, but you never know. I'd rather show you here. What's the worst that's going to happen? I ruined my fake envelope. Still not quite. There we go. Worst case scenario, I ruined my fake envelope. I'm going to pour again. Because really, what is the worst that can happen? Find my little... Um, let's... Right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to set this over there. Okay, so remember, Spellbinders absolutely makes a little a, 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 a starter kit. They do. And you get the spoon. Where's my... You get the spoon in the starter kit. And you get this apparatus that the spoon sits on top of and a tea light goes underneath and your wax is melted via flame, tea light. My only issue was that there was no little divot for the little, um, for the little neck of the, of the spoon to sit into. And I was a little concerned about an open flame. Again, I lost my house to a fire. Could just be post-traumatic stress, and, and that is a serious thing. So I decided to take, still use the tea light. We'll use the light for something else at another time. <laughs> take the little tin that it comes in, cut it, and I have now made my own little 
my own little way for my spoon not to wobble. Let's move this not to wobble because even if you put it straight down on your craft mat, you still have the opportunity for it to wobble. And I want to keep it where it's supposed to be. And look at that. That does just that. Four little, four little wax beads in there, heat it up, and then you have the option of either doing a, a typical wax seal in with all the different all the different the designs that they have or you can take it and just make them something so different and so beautiful for whatever project you're working on like i said jewelry hmm right pretty little magnets for the refrigerator hmm i mean there's just the, these are easy they're pliable you can certainly punch holes in them absolutely you have options or you just use them for their intended use you have the you have the power to create so you create what works for you so let's see i did it twice oh yeah better look at that wahoo could chew <laughs> It's a little thicker, but at least I saved my my envelope. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna show you show you what we've got, and then I'm gonna leave it to you to see if this if this has enticed you, intrigued you, motivated you, inspired you, or just plain old confused you. <laughs> so to begin with. We have, we have the starter kit from us. We put together a starter kit that does not include their little, their little apparatus to melt. You have uh, four different wax seals. So you're going to get the ones that you're gonna get a spoon because I used the spoon today. You're gonna get the thanks. I used the thanks today. You're gonna get the handmade. I used the handmade today. You're gonna get the happy birthday. I used the happy birthday today and you're gonna get the cute little envelope. So all of that, the four seals and the spoon, all come in the starter kit along with three packages of your beads to get started and you've got 100 in each. So you can do 25, 50, 75 seals without any problem. So regular prices, uh 10990 or 10991 they're on sale for $100. Okay, so this is where we're starting. Then we put together a couple um a couple bags of just the just the beads. So this is kind of the metallic. The black doesn't have metallic to it, but the black blends in so well with the three metallics. And these are pearlescent. So uh, $39.99 on sale for $34.99. So here you're going to get enough to do 100 seals, enough to do 100 seals. And then, of course, if you just want to buy individual bags without question we have all of them on open stock you can buy one bag you can buy two bags are you doing wedding invitations and you need a lot of certain color maybe you need a lot of the gold maybe you're doing an anniversary and you need a lot of the silver up to you maybe you're doing a a white party and you want to use white whatever makes your heart happy we'll have those all open stock for you and then of course we have all of the the seal stamps and there are I believe 15 of them so we started you with a few but then if you're really loving it you can come back and pick up the ones you want and all of these are online and again I think for now you're gonna end up with lots of little um, lots of handles but if you really get going on it you you end up having you saw me I had like three going at any one time and so you need all the little handles. I'm thinking in the future, they're just going to, look at the butterfly, holy smokes, artichokes. I think in the future, they're just going to sell the, the stamp part of it because you probably will have plenty of handles. All right, so that you can get all open stock and they are all on sale. Then we get into, I told you there's a lot. Then we get into 
the dies. This is the die I absolutely think you have to have without question. Even if you never do a seal in your life, you can put anything on that little dot or you can get rid of it in its entirety. I used this one today. Beautiful, right? So pretty. This is your little, this is your little confetti die. I used this one today. Didn't use that one. <laughs> this one has the birdies. I should have grabbed this one because it's got a bird on a branch and that would have looked beautiful in one of those seals. And I just pressed it in. Here you've got beautiful little florals, just simple little flowers and wait till you see the samples. Now here, okay. <laughs> I already had a conversation about this yesterday with Spellbinders. I was getting ready to sit down and tape this, this YouTube class and I'm like, oh, I don't need two of these. I was about to call Elena. Elena, why did you give me two of these? I don't need two of these. Only it's not two of them. They used the same image for two separate dies. If you are out shopping with your local independent retailers who have these or have them on order, shop local for these. And if you're a local independent retailer and you get these in, look, it's the same sample on two different dies. Don't think that Spellbinders has sent you the same stuff twice. Turn it over and you'll see. So you might actually have to display them backwards this way as opposed to this way because here customers are going to think that the, it's the same thing. This way, at least they know they're getting something different. So retailers. Those of you who watch, God bless you for, for being a mom and pop local independent store like us. We so appreciate all the effort you put forth every day to man your store. Pay attention. Hello. Okay. So already had a conversation. So dies. Then we have a couple glimmer plates. Glimmer. So if you are into glimmer foiling, we have got these work so perfectly. Wait till you see the samples glimmer plates. Then we have got a sentiment set just in case you need to add some sentiments. And the set that I really do think you need to have if you're buying the buying into the wax seal program, really these dies may when you start playing with them and you start using them with the actual seals, you're going to love them. Now, if you don't want to get into wax seals, but you want the look, all of this is going to give you a stamped look that will kind of have a little dimension to it. You've got the beautiful seals that will stamp right into it. Um, and you can choose your papers and how you want to make them look. So I, I just think that these um, these are amazing to be, even be used with just the with the, the actual seals themselves. So I love this set. I, I really do. That's a great set. And then, oh, I guess I could have just come over here and got more. <laughs> We'll have the Marvy. So Marvy comes in four colors. These are paint pins. These are the chisel and these are the two millimeter. You decide which ones you like best. You may already own these. If you do get them out and you're going to start playing with them just as soon as you get your packaging. We'll do I want it alls on both of these and then open stock as well. And if I really, I could have just come over and grabbed one of these for my silver or my gold. Oh, well, okay. So, sample time. Are you ready? You need to be prepared. I, I, I want to be able to hear you say ooh and ah while I am doing this. If you are live chatting, you need to be typing, oh my gosh. Okay, this one I believe was done by SMS guy James and Claire. I think this is the one that they did together. Right? That's beautiful. That's a wax seal to close your envelope. Oh, no, no, no. There's the die that makes it look like you've got uh, twine going all the way around. Look at this. This is beautiful. Elegant, sophisticated. Here. Elegant, sophisticated. Oh my gosh.
Are you yaying yet? Aha, see in here, they took this one and put that right into the seal. Look at that, right? Look at how lovely the dies, the seal. How lovely is that? You've got the glimmer, you've got the dye, you've got the seal. Who wouldn't love to get this card? Sending strength. This is good for October. And then here, how beautiful. So there's the dye I wanted to use because it has the birds. And look at the seal up at the top. They are for so much more than closing up an envelope. You light up my day. They are for so much more. And look at this, this is that dye. This dye is so stinking cute. Where is it? Here it is here, and you're like, meh. Here it is there, and you're like, oh, I love that dye, right? Here it is, picture is, I think if they put that picture on it, ooh, there's the dye. Here's the sample. Ooh, and those leaves, look at how perfect they are. Again, I think if you look at them, here you're like ah but then you look at them here and you're like oh and i mean they just and this one was done this one was done with the stamp set that seal was done with the stamp set here you've got glitter paper around your seal on top with the butterfly in gold Yay. And here we've taken multiple seals to use them as your embellishments. And they're all backed with that die from the stamp set. And this is just one strip of the die that makes it look like twine. Okay, then we go here. I showed you this one in the beginning. Totally different look. But then here. Oh, isn't that just happiness? Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. And again, it's backed on with that die from that stamp set and it just kind of finishes the seal off. And here we have it on Glimmer. Do you have a Go Press and Foil machine or a Glimmer machine? And my understanding is the uh, Crafter's Companion, yeah, Crafter's Companion is bringing their machine back out too. That's the rumor. Not 100% sure, but I heard through the grapevine. <laughs> And here you've got the die and the seal. And look at that. And that's one of the it's one of the dies. I didn't use that one. It's this one right here. The girls went crazy for these dies. And then honorary SMS girl Patty, she did, she made so many seals. We must have, well, I'll show you how many seals she made shortly. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so she put it right here. And again, it's got that wonky edge from that die out of the stamp set. And this is a die. And 
And can you get any prettier? I mean, wow. Here's that set that's got those long little squigglies. And just the three simple stems. Elegant, elegant. And here again, we've used them across. And um, gosh, did she actually use twine for that? No, she didn't. She didn't need, this is the die again, all the way across. And we've got three seals. This looks great. Clara, Renee, or our honorary SMS girl Patty did this one. These look amazing. And then Claire did a mixed media piece. We had oodles. So here we took stamps and we stamped into the wax. Right? Because why not, right? Claire did a mixed media piece and she said, boy, if you're a junk journaler, you're going to love these. And then I could show you, I mean, they, I have more. <laughs> I actually have more. They went crazy making them. They, they, they forgot that they actually had to make samples out of them and they just kept going and going and going <laughs> so you take all of these and you put them in a plastic baggie and when you need them you pull out that plastic baggie and it is ready to go for whatever it is you are trying to create let's see i've got one here or you take them to you take them to the next level. And you decide what they're going to become. They're just beautiful. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, Scrapbooking Made Simple.com. Reimagining what what used to be is now what can be, right? Wax, wax seals, what used to be is now what can be. It, it's, it's, it's brightened up, it's um, modernized while still having that same sentiment and feel of the original intent of wax seals. Spellbinders has put together a wonderful, a wonderful program. And it's exciting for them. This is, this is really something new and, and innovating for them to, to not only have the wax seals, but then to design dies to specifically work with them so you can take it out of the realm of what used to be and change it into what it can be. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I know local independent retailers are going to have this product. And if you have the opportunity to shop with them, I absolutely encourage you to do so. Come online when you don't have that local independent retailer. And for that, we'd appreciate, we certainly, we certainly appreciate you shopping with Scrapbooking Made Simple. So until next week, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope again you were inspired or learned something or 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 maybe just thought, huh, who would have thought? <laughs> Spellbinders did. <laughs> all right, you guys. Stacy, scrapbooking made simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>